from the halls of Ionath to the shores of Black Manitou Island. If you thought a triangle infection was bad, you've never watched The Mythwits, the show dedicated to all things geek pop culture, drenched in absurdity, and coated with sarcasm. Every week we bring on an industry guest, or these fine folks here, to talk about the ever-expanding Geekiverse and to play a game with us. Uh, we'll do our damnedest to be funny, but there are no guarantees. I'm your host, Peter O'Brien, and joining me this week is my co-host, Mike Kafis. Hey, uh, Pete, go get my chicken scissors, will you? <laughs> Just Mike. <laughs> uh, also joining us is Scott E. Pond. What's up, my peeps? Tori Duke Pond. Hey, hey. And Bruce Press. Hey, everybody. Uh, Scott Pond and Tori Duke Pond are the powerhouse duo behind the Sco Scotori Scott Scotori 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 podcast. <laughs> I knew it! I knew he was gonna mess it up. <laughs> Where they talk about life Drink. and current events, interview people from all walks of life, as well as review movies, music, games, books, and products. Scott is a multi-creative with experience in photography, art, graphic design, and visual communications. Tori has experience in publication editing and is the marketing and social media guru behind Scatori. <laughs> Woo, you got it. God bless you. It's working tirelessly in unearthing new and exciting outlets for them both. You can find them on social media under Scatori, S-C-O-T-O-R-I, through their website, Scatori.com. I'm just going to keep saying that because I like it. And soon you can hear them on iTunes and your favorite podcatcher on the Scatori podcast. <laughs> <laughs> on the Skatori Network. On Skatori yeah. Network. Uh, that's a new Say alien. It again, but slowly. Skatori. Oh, <laughs> it's almost like Dr. <laughs> Bruce Press spent 30 years as a computer engineer and regrets none of it, except for the time he didn't spend. We're going to have to rewrite this, Bruce. We keep saying this. He didn't spend it as a photographer. He is a husband to one and a father of many, or so it seems. When he is not creating images or video, he is working to promote science, critical thinking, podcasts, and the idea that everyone on this planet will be equally screwed if we don't pull it all together. I think we're just equally screwed. I think I left it right there. Cause day after day, it gets worse and worse, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it totally seems like it. Um, all right, Mike. Mike, put yes. this one together. You, you have a note here for me. What, what is this, Mikey? Oh, I was just saying that uh, if at any time anyone in the chat room or as we're talking, because we have questions about what, you know, what Sigler Fest is and what everything about it is and the events. But if, if someone reminds someone of a, of a funny story that has to be told at that point, just, just interrupt us and just say, oh, my God, hold on. Stop. Time out. There, there was one time at band camp and, uh, you know, then we'll pick up. I just I don't want to I don't want to leave out fun fun stories. Um, so I, I it wasn't a flute; it was a piccolo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. Well, there we go. Story number one. Right. <laughs> I'm kind of fond of the tuba. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, all right, all right. So I guess just right out the gate, this whole thing. Uh, there, there is this author we all know. Uh, a guy by the name of Scott Sigler. I'm wearing a shirt from uh, one of his one of his series. Uh, this is Tori is wearing. Put that up again there, Tori. She's wearing a. Uh, yep, there's the Sigler That's from this Danger year. Island. That's from this year. Mm -hmm. Every year they do a theme. Um, and I'm wearing a Scott E. Pond Designs original. Oh, nice. Ah, they live. Yeah. <laughs> but I do Scott, have uh, for you, bro. I do have nice, uh, Sigler. Stuff behind me, though. You know, yes. My orbiting death uh, jersey back here. But the real question is, Bruce. Yeah. Do you oh, have your challenge son. going on you? You <laughs> son of <laughs> I got mine. Ow. Uh -oh. oh, you Damn. guys suck. Oh, Pete. You guys <laughs> suck. Pete, we I, have oh to go. We've got to go. We're getting, you get challenged? Oh, my God. Yes. Yeah. Oh, God yeah. damn it. Damn it. Well, I'm well, not in my office. I'm in the dining room. I think I have right. two of them, three of them in the, in the office. You suck. Well, we, we, we do know what's happening the next time you see us then. Mm-hmm. Yes. Drinks are on me. <laughs> yeah. Darn, all I have are two-star general coins. They're not worth much, are they? <laughs> <laughs> not in this uh, room. Not in this yeah, room, not in this right? Room, yeah. yeah, not not in this room, yeah. All right. So anyway, so Scott Sigler is an author. He yeah. writes a lot of good stuff. We talked about him on this. Sh we, we 
we've talked about him on the show many times. One of my favorite authors. Uh, mm -hmm. One of our, I mean, I think everybody here could say the same thing. One of our favorite authors. Uh, he writes some really good stuff. Um, so he has uh, a really interactive fan base. He, he literally built his business online, like through fan base, uh, which a lot of authors, you know, very, I mean, they're doing it now, but he was like, I think he was one of the first, right? First podcast well, author? Not, well, one of. Okay. One of. Yeah. Okay. Because I was looking through the Wikipedia and it said he was the first. But, you know, Wikipedia is always so accurate, right? I mean, 100%. Uh, so there's at least four of them that make that claim. Right. Okay. So, so anyway, so he's got such a, a an interactive and fun fan base that he's built that, uh, or they've they've literally built it together, um, that he he can actually hold an entire convention just a, around his stuff. Uh, right. And and you're looking, you know, next to me on the screen right now. Uh, there's images scrolling through, and you'll see a picture of a ton of people. I actually had to cut that off to fit the format. There's more people on either side, so. What you're seeing is that, there is that the, is, the the picture from this year? Yeah, the big group shot. Yeah, there's over a hundred people. Right. So yeah, they course. they fly down to Vegas and they do things. So tell us about Sigler. Who wants to go first? So tell us about like just like what is Sigler Fest? Fest? Yeah, what is that? Do you want me to start? Well, yeah. Well, sure. Yeah, sure, Bruce. So Sigler Fest is a fan convention uh, of centered around best-selling author Scott Sigler. Um, one of the reasons that. He, among other um, writers at his level, um, can have a fan convention is because, one, he has kind of an outsized personality that people are drawn to, and he delivers that through his podcasting and in various other formats. So, you know, Scott is unique in that, uh, you know, he not only delivers on the page, but he delivers big time in real life. And um, so that's one of the things. And the other was that they, um, they understood that building a, uh, a fan base, um, a community uh, early on was really important to his future takeover of the world. And, um, and that fan base originally was um, uh, built on his website where they had uh, chat and then moved on to Facebook afterwards. And uh, for, for anyone who doesn't know, uh, Scott Sigler is known as the Dark Overlord. The future and, Dark Overlord. Uh, the future Dark Overlord, FDO. that's right. Yeah. The FDO. Yeah. And uh, we, as fans, are known as junkies because of how Scott introduced all of his media to the world because he would do it in serial form. So everyone kind of got addicted. So that's why we, in fact, are all junkies. Right. Indeed. And when he and when he takes over the world, he's gonna he's gonna use his plaid tanks, That's right. his plaid colored tanks to, to take orange, over the world. Orange and black plaid tanks. Yes. Yep. Orange and black mm. plaad tanks. Orange yes. And black. So, um, so when you when you're going to Sigler Fest, what does it cost to go? Like, what is if if I wanted to fly out there? It just happened. So it, we was it October, early part of October, right? Yeah, either the second or third week in October. And. Um, so we were to fly out there and, and get a ticket and stay. How does, what is that like? I mean, you have to get, get, get a hotel room in, in Las Vegas, right? And yeah, like, I haven't done this yet. What are the prices like uh, out there? For the rooms. Uh, rooms are cheap. Hotel rooms are inexpensive in Las Vegas. Right. Yeah. Define um, cheap. Because <laughs> Mike is. <laughs> I want to say I've paid as little as like, you know, 45 bucks a night, but yeah, oh, no, that, that's good. Wow. That's yeah. cheap. But I, but I think that, I think the Sigler Fest hotel, do you know what it was this year, Scott? What's South Point? Uh, I don't cause I didn't actually pay for it. Yeah, neither did I. It's <laughs> <laughs> oh. somebody. Uh, I, I saw, um, um, uh, was it, is it Jen Lundy was in the room and some uh -huh. other people, if anyone else is in the room that was at Sigler Fest, if, oh. I, Pete and I are just curious and maybe for other people, if we wanted to plan for our budgeting for going for next year, like what do we need right. to save? What, do, what does our hotel yeah. say? I do understand the tickets for the actual um, fest are $70 and um, that does include um, a lot of stuff. You guys, we right. tell us what you get for that. Um, I actually have a, a few of the things. The gift bags change every year. And mm -hmm. so like you get a gift bag at the beginning at the meet and greet. And this year we got Evan diamond CDs. Um, you get your badge 
and Bruce Press's favorite, the challenge coin. <laughs> that just designed by Scotty Pond, by the it way. Is. Oh, nice. Yeah. nice. Um, this year we actually got magnets that mm -hmm. represent Scott Sigler stuff, and we got Reese's. Oh, that's because it's his favorite candy, right? Yeah. 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 Right. So, um, yeah, I think your so, biggest expense is going to be your airline tickets. Yeah. Okay. Right. Right. Yeah, air, airline tickets and the and the hotel itself. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, somebody will help us point out what 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 we're looking at for a hotel room. And um, let's see what else. Because they and they there is a group rate, and you have to get in a little about a month or two early. Make sure you're you're registered a month or two early. I know that. Yeah, I think the group rate went until like a like almost a week before, maybe two weeks before. Okay. But it didn't end really close. I'm so. Yeah, you know, Bruce. While 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 you're on on there, um, yeah. tell us who is the official photographer for uh, Sigler Fest. <laughs> yeah, that's why that's why Scott and I uh, didn't really know the hotel room rates because we work for Empty Set Entertainment uh, for Sigler Fest. So um, yeah, so that's 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 a working weekend for me. We want jobs, Pete. We want we want a job at Empty Set. We'll do anything. Man. We'll, we'll sweep the floors. Uh, exotic what? dancing that's right exotic dancing all right done done hey mike dancing boys hey we'll yeah we'll, we'll uh <laughs> we'll be like we'll, we'll jello wrestle each other or uh right in in, in those um unitars right that yeah, yeah. sure I, yeah so I think, so i think the goal is for them to get more attendees Oh, I see what you're doing there what you're doing. Uh, oh. wait a minute wait a minute. we'll let you throw donuts at us you can like, you haven't seen know. Mike dance, Tori. Ring toss? No, Ring but I've seen him do something else at Balticon. And <laughs> <laughs> I'll do that, too. <laughs> God, I'll do it. Yeah, I imagine oh, you would. Oh, are you talking about your the eating contest? Yes, yes. Oh, I yes. Was. oh okay, right. speaking of which, there was a note I saw about a pie eating contest. So was that something that happened this year or not? Not that I know of. Okay. Not unless it was a private thing. So, <laughs> oh, hey, stuff uh, happens that not everybody's invited to. Oh, right even now. things that happen in Sigler Fest stay yeah. within Sigler Fest, huh? It is in Vegas. That's yes. <laughs> so, uh, there's I, I watched the um, the advert they did about six months early for oh. Sigler Fest. Uh, it was a video that uh, Empty Set put out, and uh, a a was at the hotel early and got to showing right. people around and stuff. So that's what she she had mentioned the pie eating contest and some other things. So I there is one thing I know that was very favorited in earlier Sigler Fests. Did anyone go to the gun range this year? Did anyone go no. shoot? So in, in the early Sigler Fest, when there was a small number of us, so, so, so the first Sigler Fest was held at Balticon in 2011. Was that and that? Uh, what's that? I was at that one. Yeah, right? Yeah. So, so, so that was, that was a, a modest group. And um, there were 55 was, people. And it was one day, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And... Um, so then the following year, they moved out to Las Vegas because they thought it would be accessible to more people, which is probably true. Um, and um, so the first couple of years, there were a small enough people that we could fit in a, you know, like courtesy van almost, maybe, maybe one and a half courtesy vans. Yeah. And so we did things like go to the machine gun range, which yeah, maybe that, was in, that was in 2012. Mm. And we went nice. to the machine gun range and there's Scott uh, at the range um, and um, and then we went to uh, the zombie store right and right. we went to um, and in another year we went to the atomic testing museum and uh, the um, neon sign museum, museum. right um, but then what happened is by the third year third, third year I think third year there were too many people and um, the challenge to move all those people to another venue uh, was too great. And the idea was that people are coming together to be together mm -hmm. and, and to have that time. So, um, so all the activities uh, around Sigler Fest are in the hotel, in the host hotel, um, which was the Orleans for um, a number of years. And then this year it was at South Point. And next year it will be at South Point again. Okay. Um, and um, and that way, yeah, everybody gets to be together in one place and spend the time together. Um, although I know some people show up early and do things together and go off, you know, like they'll show up on the, 
the Wednesday and, and they'll go off to the strip or do other things and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, we don't, we don't generally do those things anymore. Aww. I know. Right. Right. So what, what kind of other activities do you have? Like what, what kind of stuff do you do? Oh, well, there's, 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 is there bowling? Yeah, there's, there's, there's actually a ton of activities. So one of the things that Scott tries to do every year is to do at least one reading from a new work that hasn't been released yet. So the junkies get to see, see and hear something that they haven't heard yet or haven't been able to actually read yet. Uh, there is bowling night, which we've done, what, Bruce, for the last six years? Almost every, well, yeah, I think it's been almost every year. Almost every year. Uh, we used to do uh, movie theater night on Thursday night mm. up until, I think, this, this last year. It was rolling in 2012. Yep. Frank. Uh, and and then uh, right, right. Cousin, <laughs> the, the, what's his name? Cousin uh, what's Frankie. Frankie. Frankie shows up, right? Yeah, Frankie. Let's see. Yep. So Frankie's on the cover of. There you go. This is this is cousin Frankie. Scott's cousin Frankie. Frankie Dominic Oliveri. <laughs> yes. Something like that. So that's, that's his cousin weird. Frankie. It looks, it looks just like Scott. You know, they, their family. Their family must be yeah. severely inbred because they do <laughs> all kind of look alike. His <laughs> they, other. His other cousin, Pope Siglericus the twenty third or whatever, also looks an awful lot like him. Mm -hmm. Looks really yeah, drunk too. Yeah. Unfortunately, they don't have a family tree; they've got a family wreath. <laughs> That's right. Okay. Right. <laughs> a family thistle, right? Yeah. So yeah, so he does. He'll he'll do readings. There are uh, we do bowl. Um, also karaoke. Uh, I think that karaoke was the one that was added probably three or four years ago. Mm, okay. um, and we do a big karaoke night, which gets, um, can get um, interesting. Interest uh, do, uh, that's no, that's not enough. Yeah, no, I saw, <laughs> what? I saw <laughs> some pictures. Story to that, that adjective. Like, like there's said, a picture of him on the table singing. Oh my God, yeah. So yeah, a lot of my pictures come from, from like, you know, this... What Scott does, so like I said, Scott has an outsized personality, right? And um, he is 120% there for the junkies on that weekend. So he is making sure that, that things are moving, that everybody's entertained, and uh, that is no time as prominent as karaoke, where Scott is likely to be up there for every song. Yeah. yeah. No matter no matter how damaged he may be, and no matter how many lyrics he doesn't know. Oh God! <laughs> how many uh, how many scotches he's had? Yeah, I know. Uh -huh. you know, I've seen okay. him. Just, yes. So I've I've seen him at conventions get get a little banged up. Um, how does he How does he do on um, during the convention? Because I imagine he's got to keep himself. I mean, I'm sure he has a good time and everything, but he's got to keep himself at least somewhat coherent right or does, yeah, does a just mean, or does a just take co-pilot seat and take over that gives you an idea give you an, ex an idea of, of what things are like at uh, karaoke <laughs> um yeah yeah so go ahead scott yeah so so at at his convention because he is center stage he and he and he and a are center stage they're they're not going to go over the top or overboard during right. normal programming hours i mean it, it just doesn't make sense because um, if you get past that breakover point, which we've all hit many times in our lives, most likely you you become less of the entertainer and less of the host and more of potentially a burden or potentially something else that you don't necessarily want to be. So Scott's, Scott's very good at keeping well back from that line. Um, still having a good time and still, still enjoying himself, but so he's not. learned, he's learned from the past is what you're saying. I think what I think what he's saying is we've all gotten older. Yeah, okay. <laughs> There's that. I, was say, yeah, I mean, he, he remains very professional, and then he has fun at night, basically. Mm. Right. Because because I'll tell you, Michael attests to this. Uh, we mm. would go to conventions and do stuff, and you know, I would try to do like interviews and stuff, and I would get a little carried away with with, with the liquor. You? And, uh, you? I would get a, I would get a little too banged up to like function, mm. and um, yeah. Uh, in so, more than one of our little reporting videos, you've, you'll hear Pete say, if you're not here, you're missing it. 
I'm never going to live that down. I'm Captain Obvious for the myth. <laughs> I'm never going to live that down, am I? <laughs> never going to live that one down. Wow. Nope. <laughs> nope. Yeah. But, but yeah, so as you get old, you get a little older and you get a little more like, hey, I want to, I want to present a more positive image and, and just get more stuff done. Or you, you know, physically like, can't. Or you right? physically, or just <laughs> physically can't do it anymore. Just, right. Yeah. No, and that's, that's true it, for me. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I've definitely slowed down in the last decade. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But 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 yeah, as far as far as the as far as the convention goes, everyone at least on this panel knows knows Scott and has has interacted with Scott on many levels. But for the new junkies, it's it's definitely a new experience. We had record number of new junkies this year, Good. and I think I think total number of junkies, new and old was almost 140 this year. Right. Wow. And about, compared to, I was going to say, I think almost a third of them were new. Yeah, nice. exactly. So, so the great thing about Scott, and, and, and I can boil this down to, to, to a real simple thing, aside from his, his, his own personality, which is obviously over the top, the best thing about Scott and interacting with Scott is the fact that he does interact with you and he is extremely approachable. Yeah. So it doesn't matter if you're a new junkie, doesn't matter if you're an old junkie, doesn't matter what level of fandom you're in. Either coming to this convention or coming to any convention that you're going to encounter him at, he's very approachable. And unlike many authors who will say hi and what's your name and then sign your book and pass you on, right. he'll actually strike up a conversation with you. So, so that's one of, the, one of the best draws of Sigler Fest, aside from all the other activities, and, and, and there's a bunch more that we haven't talked about, is the fact that you can go there and you can interact with them and you feel like part of the family right out of the gate, not just because of Scott and A, but because of all the other fans that are there. John we says, are one big family. John says, smells like rookie stank. <laughs> <laughs> which, which anyone who who has read the the uh, the rookie and the uh, GFL series would know what that means. But uh, which which John? Uh, John Viserion. Oh, Viserion. Viserion. Oh, Viserion. Viserion. Oh, Viserion. oh, Viserion. Viserion. oh Viserion. Little spoon. Yep, yep. Little hey, John. Spoon. That's right. <laughs> oh, and and A just joined us in the chat room. Hey, oh, A. Nice. Hi, A. Hey, welcome. So yeah, and so, I just, oh, oh, you know, while, that, while, we mentioned while her a here. couple of times. That would be A B Kovacs, yes, right. the partner in Empty Set Entertainment, the director who keeps Scott, the director of Dune, the one who keeps Scott in line and online and on schedule, on target and on right, yes. yes. And every time he says, "Hey, let's do this," and she goes, "No, you yeah, can't no, do that you because you're do doing this." Right. <laughs> oh, his surrogate mother. <laughs> Uh, oh, did yeah. I think that? Did I go there? No. No, no. What do they call uh, uh, creative adjacent? Is yes. She is. Right. So, um, yeah. I have one question, and I have a feeling from the pictures I'm seeing that the answer is yes. That that yes. Uh, one foot bushy ass caterpillar stayed on his face uh, at oh. Sigler Fest. Yes. <laughs> For karaoke. Okay. Night. Right. Uh, yeah. Oh. That thing is terrible. I'm sorry, Scott. <laughs> nope. I love you, but no. <laughs> all right, so we're all agreed then, right? <laughs> yep. Okay. All right. Kevin I thought it was damn sexy seven or damn seventy sexy. Seventy sexy, sure. Yes. yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know what they called and they won it back. That's right. Yes, they do. <laughs> Ron Jeremy called and said, I want my stash back. <laughs> Is starring in starring in the remake of Shaft or something. Right. <laughs> the white shaft. A likes it. So A it's, likes it's it. Okay. Perfect for blue balls. Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So um, so yeah, and, and I just wanted to go back because we were talking before about you know the fact that Scott talks to this person, uh, who who approaches him at, at any event that he's at. Um, He's also just he's just a genuinely nice person. I think that's where it really it comes out. Like I think that's why cuz he's he's just genuinely a nice dude. Um you know, I, every interaction I've ever had with him just been really fucking cool. Uh, yeah. You know, with with me and with everyone. You know, even when people there's been a few times uh like there was okay, so there was one time we were I think it was Dragon Con. I want to I want to mm -hmm. say it was Dragon Con. And I there was some guy that was like way too drunk, like way way drunk. And I think Scott took him up to his room and let him sleep on his couch or his floor or something, right? Oh yeah, it was this kid. He was like, it looked like I think he was like fourteen. He was like under. No, age. no, 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 no. I don't. I don't think he was under age, was he? Yeah, there yeah. You go. Let's start yeah. the rumors that Scott bring on no, his no, no, <laughs> that that, no, 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 no. That was the big part of it, and that was a huge. There was a huge. Uh, 
there was all kinds. Of, we, we were concerned about that kind of thing, and uh, but we had the, to. We called. They said they had to use his phone to get someone to pick him up because this guy, his friends, left him like just for dead on the floor. Oh wow! Oh. Yeah, mm -hmm. or something like yeah, it was something to that yeah, effect. But, but he, but he, he made sure that that kid got taken care of. Is, is yeah, the point? He yeah. did. He's, and, he's and a class I'm not, act. Yeah. We don't know how old he was, Mike. So don't say he's, we don't. No, no, we don't. It was. It was. He was underage. But it, that's not the point. I mean, his age was his age. It's not. There's no insinuation, except for maybe what other people are insinuating. Not me. Not me. And so mm -hmm. next, um... <laughs> <laughs> moving, moving right along. Moving right, right along. along. Scott, Scott is a really nice guy, and he also is very smart and has a background that um, he's. You know, he he has done lots of different things in his career prior to writing, including like journalism and, and marketing and all this other stuff that has given him the ability to have like really good conversations to be that person who doesn't, you know, sort of stand in the corner and has a hard time starting up a conversation. Um, yeah, we're going to get back to Sigler Fest. Here's one other little okay. anecdote. I remember we had Pete and I had, we traveled all the way, got, got all the way down to, um, uh, Dragon Con. We were at the skept the Atlantic Skeptic Star Party. Sure. And we literally had just changed in the parking lot. We walked right in, and I mean, we weren't there. We didn't even get through the door yet. And I don't know. Maybe Scott was trying to get away from someone else. I don't know. But he, <laughs> I mean, literally, it's like we come in and he like came right over. Oh my God, you guys are here! Hey, what's up? And I mean, he just welcomed yeah. us. We were both like, "What the hell? Does he know who we are? Does he think we're somebody else?" <laughs> <laughs> but nah, that's the kind of guy Scott is. If he knows you, if he remembers you, yeah. he does not forget you. So, that's and he's right. a class act. Yeah. I, I yeah. think one of the things that's really nice, especially for newcomers, is between sets and scheduling, he always does autographs. So mm -hmm. you can bring fifteen books with you. And he personalizes all of them. And he just makes it so much fun. Yeah. As a matter of fact, uh, and he'll, he'll write in there, like, you'd, you'd say, you know, hey, could, I always get him to insult me, call him, like, a, you know, uh, insult me about being bald or something stupid like that. Oh, my uh, God. John it's always Vis nice to... Viseria? Is it Viseria? Viscara. 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 Okay. So John Viscara just said, Pete, that um, Nocturnal uh, was an RPG that existed before uh, the novel in Shadows of the City. Hmm. I did not know that. We have got to check that shit out. Yeah, all right. All right, yeah, yeah. So John Viscar, Big Big John, is the, um, uh, what's his official title? He just, like, is the keeper of the encyclopedia of uh, the Siglerverse, right? Or, I mean, oh, well, so, so John Viscar, don't go anywhere before this show ends because... I may have borrowed some stuff from your Siglerpedia for uh, for a game we're going to be playing yeah. tonight. So. Oh boy! Oh boy. <laughs> so John, John's the one. So one of the one of the big events at um, well, we do two. One is Jeopardy. One is you know Sigler Jeopardy, Jeopardy, and the other one is a big uh, uh, quiz game, night. game. Yeah, and um, and John creates all the questions. Because John has this encyclopedic knowledge, or at least he has access to the <laughs> to the he knows, knowledge. He knows he knows where to find the information right. by the drop of a hat. Yeah. He's the yeah. continuity master. And and right. who's Nick? Nick uh, Bassett. Bass. 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 Nick Bass says that he'll even sign your Harry Potter. Right. Sure. <laughs> sure. So that's, Nick, a, that's Nick's been there for for the last three phrasing. years. Two, three. Are we still doing phrasing? Oh, we're always doing phrasing. <laughs> <laughs> well, Archer was sort of the kind of the unofficial theme, right? Was official actually kind of official, yeah. yeah. Was it kind of official? Okay, all right. Yeah. I mean, I know it was. I know it was um, uh, uh, Sigler Island, but so it was. But it was based off of, of Archer, right? Right, right. Based on this this past season of Archer last year was based off the Big Lebowski. Uh, the year before was uh, uh, role playing on. games. Yeah. Right. That's right, because you design. Because so so, Pondy uh, designs um, either the badges or or like cards or I mean t-shirts. I mean he does all the design for um, or ninety percent at least of the design for MD Sound Entertainment. So he's creating tie-in shit for the theme for Sigler Fest. Yeah, so okay. the, the, year, the year we did role-playing games, the badge was actually a character sheet. And, and that was a real Stranger Things theme, right? Yeah, there was Stranger Things. 
Sigler things, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sigler, Sigler things. Things. yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 that yeah, was 2016? I believe it was 16. Yeah. We had uh, Agents of Sigler to kind of flip off from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Yep. Uh, I'm trying to remember what else we had. I know, right? I, 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 have, I remember the first someplace. one, because I went to that one, was called Dig the Sig. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. 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 All right, yeah, all right. Go, so, sig, go Sig or go home. Right. I feel, I feel like we're burying the lead here on something, though. All right. Um, you guys have got to tell us who Evan Diamond is and how infamous is he to bring an entire library to Sigler Fest? He? She. Is a she? Is a she? Is a she? Yeah, it's a she. And oh, sorry. She's, it's her band, I think. And then Scott is the bass, bass, bass player. Bass yeah. player. Yeah. And they, they are pretty kick ass, if I must say so myself. Okay. So yeah, so, was, so that was new this year. Um, normally on Thursday night, um, there's a meet and greet, and then we go watch a bad movie, like um, Machete Kills or something like that. Or Looper. Or Looper. Oh, Looper wasn't that bad. Oh, that's <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Movie. It's for another night. <laughs> uh, but, but anyway, so this year as a treat, um, Scott talked to the band that, that he plays with in San Diego. And um, they decided to come out and uh, perform on the meet and greet night. So you came in on Thursday, got your badge in your bag and, um, and hung out and, you know, had some snacks and drinks and stuff. And, and, the, and the band played the rest of the night. So that was kind of fun to see, you know, Amazing. you came out to see this, this uh, science fiction author that you are excited about that you've listened to on the podcast, stuff like that. And you get to go see him rock out with a um a band on stage the first night you're there right because he, he was a uh, he was a, a bass player back before he was an author right i mean he played in a band for years or something before that sure yep yep That's so, quite the collection um, all right yeah. so so and evan diamond um so you guys like I've, I've never actually listened to the band i i know that he's i've seen pictures of him playing with them um yeah. But, but, their uh, their EP huh? releases this Friday, as along with one of their new music videos. Wow. Okay, I'll have to check okay. it out. Yeah, check that out, guys. So it's Evan yeah, and Diamond find... in the library. Is that the name of the band? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Although although Evan performs by herself a lot okay. as well, and I think okay. you can find uh, if you Google Evan Diamond music, you will right. find. Right. Just to be clear, it's Evan Diamond and the library. So yes. So I guess just uh, Scott is just one of the librarians. One of the books. And it's one of the – okay, I don't know. Yeah. I don't, I'm still trying to figure this out. <laughs> you know, and, and, and speaking of such, not to, not to do a spurious plug, but if you want to have the chance to win one of their uh, CDs signed, head over to Scatori on Facebook and enter the contest. Ding. Okay, that's right. <laughs> We will right. do that. So A B or A B A A just A A yeah. says uh, it's Evan Diamond and the Library. It's her band, and he is just the bassist. Just, oh, not like just. That. Like that. Just. just he's the just the bassist. That's, that's the right from A. Just nobody, the bassist. Just, no, just the bassist. Nobody likes the bassist. The bassist never gets laid. <laughs> <laughs> it's always the singer or the guitarist, right? That's right, and, or the drummer. And, yeah. and the only person who gets laid less than the bassist is the drummer. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible. That's terrible. I'm sure. But, you know, I, look, I go back and look at my pictures, and, and the, the life on that stage was all Evan and Scott. The, mm-hmm. the guitarist was, oh, yeah. was, you know, he, he was very cool. But, yeah. I mean, he was was cool. Oh, 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 A says that's how he describes it. Jeez. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. All right. So, uh, is there anything else about some of the events at Sigler Fest that we are are missing? Uh, yeah. So, th- so every year, uh, uh, um, there's a cake. <laughs> I know that sounds dumb, but um, uh, the so cake like, is a lie. So, so like, see, see that? That's a cake. Oh. That was done to um, to oh. you know be one of the triangles from um, mm. uh, infected. infected, and then uh, let me see one of these other things has a picture of them with the yeah. So this was another year's cake, which is um, the stadium, Kraken Stadium, and helmets and stuff. Now, who makes so, these cakes? So there's a, there's a um, uh, Scott. Do you know? 
I don't remember uh, the name of it. They're in Las Vegas. Okay. Yeah, they're in they're Las Vegas. Cake Las Vegas. Vegas. Yeah. Uh, Stephanie Harvey coordinates the whole effort right. each year to get the cake made. And it helps choose the design. Like this, here's another, here's another cake design. Good God. This, an, this is an earth core. Based Jesus. One. Mm. That's, so, that's pretty um, incredible. Yeah. So what's happened is they're amazing. Yeah, they are. So initially it was like, Oh, this was the cake was a big surprise. The first year they did it, it was a big surprise for Scott. And um, now it's become an annual thing. And um, in addition to cake, after the year, we had a proposal, right? I think that was the first year we had champagne, right? Yeah. So, yeah. so one year we had uh, two people get proposed to, uh, propose to each other. And um, so what has happened is that cake event is now a, um, a share your life event with people. So, so this year we had uh, a bunch of people renew their vows with Scott doing the, the ceremony hmm. and, um, and then people share what's gone on in their lives during the year, whether something great or something bad or whatever, um, just things that they wanted to share with the, the community of people at Sigler Fest. And it's really kind of sweet. Um, plus there's, you know, a gory cake to eat, you know, which is cool. Nice. Hmm. I like that. That is so. There's always something being added uh, to Sigler Fest uh, for the next year. Some some new traditions, or well, not always, but it seems like there are traditions that will stick from year to year. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Well, let me ask you guys this: um, What of anything that's not on the program? What are your takeaways from Sigler Fest um, that is not the, the no, you don't go there anticipating, but what do you leave with that you never expected to leave with? Well, I kind of, I kind of herpes. mentioned it before. <laughs> Space herpes. <laughs> no, I, I, I kind of mentioned it before. Um, you, you go there, especially your first time, expecting just to be a quiet fan, sit there, maybe get to know a couple people. But in reality, the entire fan base that goes opens their arms. And you end up leaving Sigler Fest with more chosen family than you came with. And sit there. What was that? What was that? It's an echo. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> so, oh, sorry. I, I was I was looking in the chat room. Somebody was talking about. Somebody was just talking about echo, but it's it's not too bad. Um, I don't even I don't know yeah. where it's coming from or what to do about it. But it, it, yeah, it's gonna we be apologize. It's... Yeah. Everybody's wearing headphones, so it's not that. Um, so there's one thing we haven't talked about that's a big thing that happens there is the costume contest, right? Because yeah. I, yeah. I have a bunch of pictures cycling through. Like right now, right now I think it's a guy in Baby McButter. Yeah, yeah. good call. Okay. That's exactly what it is. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And then uh, there's a, there's and then a the lot next of picture really that just came up. ones that show up across the board, whether they're from his stories or outside of the stories. People go all out for the costume party. It's really neat. Yeah, yeah, and more and more each year. Yes. Yeah. There was a, a lot this year. Right around fifty. Did did anyone show up? Uh, has anyone tried to show up as Hunter 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 Hunterson? Because I th always From thought Hunter Hunterson sons. Yeah. Um, not in the costume. Oh come on! What the fuck is going on? There's been uh, almost since the first year in Vegas. There's a whole table of swag, right? Mm -hmm. So there's there's T-shirts to buy and all that kind of stuff, right? And then there's also a table of um, things that have been either fan created or created as a process of making the the book covers and stuff. Like they're um, like Scott's got some stuff on the table, but there's you know there's 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 little figurines of um, uh, from from GFL, and there's um, what are they called? A ancestors from Earth, from uh, right. ancestor, and there's there's people who have made uh, well Sparkle Horse, and uh, you know other things. So there's a whole table now of fan 
produced, uh, not swag, but uh, props almost. Yeah. Hmm. Um, it's and like so, the Hall of Fame of Sigler World. Almost. Say that again? It's like the Hall of Fame almost. Yes. Right. Oh, okay. I like yeah. that. So there's right. like a key hand and there's a spear from the Alone Alive, you know, series and um, triangles and uh, ancestors and, you know, all, I mean, all kinds of stuff. One, one of Steve Shackney's brings, um, he, he bakes uh, crackers and cookies uh, from the, that are sort of Sigler themed and stuff. So, yeah, I mean, people bring stuff. They're just, it, they're very vested. Very cool. Okay. Well, and and again, we want to point out that Sigler Fest is as much a celebration of the fans as it is of um, Scott and his work. Because I mean, we want to point out that already Sigler everyone Fest loves Scott his and his work. Much... Sorry, we we had an issue. I was handling a technical issue. Keep going. Okay. Keep going. So uh, <laughs> just as much as Scott and his work. Uh, so, but the fans themselves. This is a celebration of the fans, and um, it, to that end, uh, I need I need some stories. I need something funny, something uh, that uh, eh, necessarily maybe it was promised to have stayed there, but you guys, it's just it's just you. It's just us. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. It's just the five of us. No one else is around. I, I think I think the the. Um, I think the feed stops. So just what, what, what kind of interesting stories have happened? Can you tell us anything? Funny? Oh. Embarrassing? Come on, what? Scott. Something embarrassing oh, there's, happened. There's plenty of embarrassing things, but yeah, that, that, that stayed in Vegas. Oh, it's one thing so Bruce, left Vegas. Bruce, well, Bruce, a, Bruce do, a just uh, called Scott out on the comment section. What did? A just called Scott out on the comment section about what happened this year. I was gonna, uh -oh. I was gonna mention that. I just wasn't sure. Yeah, <laughs> Scott, well, he did Scott it. So go ahead. <laughs> yeah. So, so, uh, so in the middle of the concert, um, Scott's jamming, and as he does, he moves around the stage. He's like all over the stage, and um, and I was shooting from the from his side of the stage, so I was like almost right up on the steps, getting on the stage to shoot the band sort of from the side and a little bit behind. And um, all of a sudden, like out of the corner of my eye, I see Scott go down. I mean, like just boom, go down. And um, he is, uh, as I look, he is almost like face down um, off the back of the stage next to the drum, between the drum and the amp. And um, he's got his, he's still got his guitar, right? And he's, and he's trying to, I guess, protected in some way but he is like sliding off the, the back of the stage and um and he didn't seem to like figure out and and i understand how he might not how he was going to either pull himself back up or just go ahead and continue off the stage off the back and then walk around or something and um so there he's lying sort of flat on his on his stomach with his uh base underneath him and, um, and I'm like standing there, didn't take pictures. So I, I now know that I'm not a photojournalist. I'm just a photographer. Um, <laughs> not a paparazzi. <laughs> right? And so um, I, I was looking for a piece of him to like grab onto, to try and help him get back up. And it was really difficult. So I finally just grabbed him by the back of the belt and, and hauled him up onto the stage because he's, he's not a big guy. <laughs> right? Um, yeah. And then he just went right back to playing. I mean, he just kind of picked himself up and went right back to playing. Right. Um, and then what I realized happened, because he had knocked over a guitar and stuff like that, um, there's, uh, you know, those little uh, guitar stands that sit mm -hmm. on the stage and just the guitar sits into it. So they're black and there wasn't a lot of light. Mm -hmm. So there was an empty one kind of right between the drummer and the amp, which I, I, it was from Scott's guitar. I'm mm -hmm. just saying, mm -hmm. he's wearing his guitar back there. Yeah. So he left the stand back there, and I think he tripped over it as he was kind of, you know, he's kind of working his way back to try and allow more attention to the drummer, I think was what he was doing. And, um, and yeah, just I think he got one foot stuck in that thing and just went over, and um, he did not break any ribs. 
He was sore all weekend, but, but he did he bruise the day. He was things. bruised yeah. beyond belief. Yeah. Yeah. There were a lot of injuries, either pre Sigler Fest or Sigler Fest. Uh, your yeah, wife, yeah. as a matter of fact, had a busted foot. Uh, oh my gosh. Yeah. So we're we're not. Uh, yeah. So we're not huge uh, Las Vegas people. We've done that, and so uh, we try and come in early and then go to like Utah and go hiking and stuff like that. So um, we were there for, we were out for four days and our last day, the, the morning before we got, drove back to Las Vegas, um, we, uh, we went to a, to a, like a sunrise hike. So both of us were lying there, we were still jet lagged. So it's 4.30 in the morning and it was like, I, I can't go back to sleep. Can you go back to sleep now? Well, we might as well go see sunrise then, right? Sure, okay. So uh, we found this trail that's good for sunrise. We hiked up there in the dark. We got up to the to the top and we waited for sunrise and it was lovely and it was very cool. There were a couple other people up there. And then it's like, oh, we gotta check out of the hotel. So we started back down the hill and we did very cool. There were a couple other people up there. Sorry. Damn it. We didn't go we didn't go twenty five yards. And she there was some sand on a rock and she slipped and went down and uh, she said, I heard I heard something crack. And I was like, oh, come on, not really. Yeah, like, come oh, on. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh, we worked our way down, took us probably twice as long as it should have. So instead of like a half hour, it took us almost an hour you to didn't get didn't carry her? It wouldn't let me. But it would have been, that would have been maybe death. There, there were some places on this hike that, that just dropped. And um, we finally got back to the car. And um, after I stopped on the way to the doctor's so that I could take a picture, um, we got her to the doctor and got her x-rayed and, and her foot was broken so we, so we get to Sigler Fest and we get to the, this huge casino right and this place is just gargantuan and it's um, you know it's an eighth of a mile to get to the hotel room and she's like I'm just not going to be able to do this on crutches I can't so we called down to the uh, to the bell station and um, asked for a wheelchair because they, you know, they got lots of wheelchairs for all those old people that go and gamble mm-hmm. so <laughs> they show up at the room with a wheelchair, and I swear it's a double wide. Oh. So, <laughs> so this this thing comes to the door, and Julie sits in it, and she goes to to grab the um, the wheels, and her arms are almost straight out, so she can't wow. like there's no leverage to make the wheels go. She's like this, and her oh. and so for half the week, she's running around. Gargantuan wheelchair. God, I just want to pay. I want to pay my way to Vegas just to see that. Oh yeah. Oh, and man. she's tiny too, so I can't even imagine yeah. her yeah. arms. Yeah. So, All but right. it, it was great. There were lots of people who were willing to push her around. And everybody was, you know. I mean, I think right. that you know, it's it's just it really is uh, such a such a great family. Yes. And um, but not but not insular in that way, right? It isn't like there's the click and then there's everybody else. Mm-hmm. Open arms. Yeah, it doesn't play out like that. Well, good, good. We're definitely going now. I'm I'm gonna really try my best to get there next year. Yeah. I'm even trying to get my girlfriend Jenny into, like, the GFL and into reading some other of his books so that I can convince her that yes, this is definitely a vacation we need to take. You know. GFL's a good gateway drug. Yeah. Yeah. It definitely, definitely. Yeah. So all right. She, so, hey, Mike. Uh, she likes the sports ball, right? She she loves football. So I I know okay. she's 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 ready. She's ready. She's primed. Um, okay. That said, and uh, Bruce, I I respect you trying to uh, delay the inevitable, but it is in fact time for the game. It is. So Peter, hey Mike, Mike, get off get off the square that highlights the square thing with their. Oh, of course, oh, sir. The square thing. Yeah. yeah. Thank That's you. Thank you. Thank always you. a thing that I do. You know that. Right. right. Thank I'm just sir. making sure you're paying attention, buddy. I am paying attention. Hey, because buddy. You know what? Oh, God. <laughs> because, hold on. Let me do the thing. Because it's game time with the Mythwits. I'll be your game master this week, and we're playing Bet the Geek. Panelists, I will ask Tori and Scott a trivia question. Well, you're not sitting together. Normally you're sitting together. So I'm going to do Hey, Tori and Scott, which one of you two is the is the more uh uh Sigler expert? Scott. Scott. All right, Scott. I'm going to ask Scott trivia questions from the Siglerpedia. Wow. I, I will then oh, wait, wait. Can, I, can I ask Scott something? Yes. So, Scott, well, Scott and Tori, 
What what was your rank uh, for the uh, trivia game? Oh, I was like sixty or seventy from the bottom. From or, the sorry. bottom? No, to like like um like I'm twelve from the bottom. Okay, Tori. I, I believe I was the bottom because my phone wouldn't work. <laughs> All right. Well, that's okay right. because because. Uh, I'm going to go around the room and ask each of our panelists whether Scott is going to get the question right or wrong. So nobody has to know the answer. You just have to guess whether Scott knows the answer. That's the beauty of this game. (laughs) (laughs) You will also hedge that bet by one, two, or three points on how confident you are of Scott's Sigler Foo. There will be a total of five questions, and each of you starts with ten points. Mike will be manning the scoreboard and will update us at the end of each round or whenever he feels like it. Uh, we'll start with – well, we're not going to start with warm-up questions. We're going to go right to the game because uh, we don't need warm-up questions. Tori? Do we want to add That's Tori? It? Yeah, we do because I was going to okay. have them together. Right. So you're going to okay. put that in there for me? Yep. Gotcha. Right. So, so here's the deal. Scott, I'm going to ask you trivia questions about Sigler stuffs. And then um, you're just going to um, – you're going you're gonna to wait. You're not going to answer right away. And try to have a poker face, and then we are all gonna bet—not me, but but Tori, Mike, and Bruce. You can take me out of there, Mike, because uh, we have three players. Uh, me, me, uh, or I'm mean, sorry, Tori, Mike, and Bruce are going to bet on whether you know it or not, and hedge your bet by three points. So you would say, uh, "Yes, I think Scott knows it for three points." And then if you get it right, you get three points. If you get it wrong, you lose three points. So there is there is a loser ability. Lose, losability. Oh. There's losability um, in this. All right. Wait, so, Scott, what? are you and Tori in the same room? No. No. Mm-mm. Okay. I just want to make sure there aren't any hand signals or anything. Normally there no. are. I had to do. I had to do a little the change up right there. <laughs> Not the, What's that? The door is right there. <laughs> oh man. Not that they would cheat or anything. Right. No. Right. All right, so here we go. Let's start. Um, all right, Mike. This I is going to p- be so embarrassing. No, it's not <laughs> for it's all of us. Fine. Not for me necessarily. <laughs> it's going to be fine. Uh, where is the the score? I want the scores on, and I want the the the, the, the game. I added you too, buddy. Score. Why is the score not coming on? Oh, I know why it's not coming on. There we go. All right, now we can see the scores. All right, fantastic. All right. Here we go. Scott, here's your first question. Remember, don't answer this. Let people bet. Um, this Quith leader is an underworld figure team owner of the... Uh, he is the world underworld figure team owner of the Ioneth Krakens. And I will start with Tori. Tori, what do you think? Do you think Scott is going to know this one or not? I think he's going to know it for two. Okay. So, Mike, that's a yes Tori. for two. Oh, yeah. Bruce, what do you think? Yes. Um, I think he's going to know it for four. No, he can only go as high as three. Oh, three's a bit. Three. About five or six. And uh, do I go next? Yes, Mike, you're next. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm going to say that he knows it for three. Okay, he knows it for three. All right. All right. Okay. So, uh, Scott, what is, uh, who is the uh, underworld figure team owner of the INF Krakens? So, anybody who's listened to the GFL series or read the GFL series should know this is Hokor the Hook Chest. Hokor the Hook Chest. Yeah. Um, Scott? I'm sorry. Yeah. That Coach is Hulk Greedox Hulk. the split head. head. So you all got it wrong. Oh, oh. it hurts. It does. Scott! Scott! <gasps> we expect better. <laughs> all right. Wait a minute. What is it? Greedock the Splithead is the owner of the yep. team. Hooker oh, right. is the coach. It is the coach. Oh, yeah, that's right. God damn. All right, Mike, what you got this? Five. You following the score uh, there? Yeah, no, see, uh, the, the... I know, I know. Just put the, put the, put the N in there. Just okay. do it. I, there's something weird with the fucking formula. I don't know. I thought I had it okay. fixed. Whatever, whatever. Oh, All right, anyway. Oh, next oh, question. Cooley says he's tanking on purpose. All right. Oh. <laughs> All right, so Scott. Oh, 
Is he is he beating a spread or something with that? Right. I know. Well, question number two. That she could be a phone a friend. She might not know the answer, but she'll at least be your friend. <laughs> well, that's good. You could phone her and just talk to her, right? I, yeah. <laughs> All right, Scott. What is the PUV James Keeling's nickname? And I'm gonna go with I'll go with Mike first this time. Scott gonna know what the PUV James Keeling's nickname is. God, I, I, dude, this huh? is like this is like sitting in a jar of baby food. Come on, I, I'm gonna okay. but I'm gonna say he has gotta know it for two. No, no offense, Scott. I mean, some people don't like baby food, but you better goddamn like baby food. <clears throat> All right. You say yes uh, for two. <sighs> yes for two. All right, Bruce, I'll make, you can go next. It has to be yes for three. Yes for three. All right. It has and to be. I love you, Scott. Don't let me down. I'm saying yes for two. Yes for two. Okay. Wow. I'm the only one who truly has faith in me. <laughs> All right, Scott. Thanks. What is Thanks, the Bruce. PUV James Keeling also known as or better known as? Uh, you guys realize I suck at questions. <laughs> <laughs> You're killing me, man. Really? <laughs> you know what? You know what? I'm killing me right now. Um, it's been a while since I've listened to this, and I know junkies out there are going. Yeah. Oh, right. oh, yeah you should see the chat room. <laughs> oh, I, bet, I, I bet they're just going crazy. Yeah. Um, but some people have faith in you, too. Yeah, Lisa yeah. Tryon thinks you can get it. <sighs> Son of a gun. <laughs> A.B. Kovac says, the only way out is to die. And, and, and that's, that's complete death. Yeah. I'm drawing a complete blank, guys. Oh, no! <laughs> guess, guess, guess. Just guess. Say something, guess. anything. Say something. The USS Pondy. No, I don't. <laughs> no, it's not the USS Pondy. <laughs> oh. No, I'm, I'm. Oh. Well, Scott, that was the crypt. Oh, you son of a. I tried, I tried hey, that's what I'm saying, thing. man. Right. Wow. All right. God. All right. Come on. Oh, let's let's right. do this. Wow. I'm gonna redeem. Scott is gonna be redeemed. He's gonna be redeemed. Yes. Who? I'm voting is, yes for three. I don't care what the question is. I am right. turning in my Sigler badge. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold on. Not yet. Question number three. Who is Detective Brian Clouser's longtime lovable but crude partner? Bruce, you can go first. It's another, it's another <laughs> softball. <laughs> it's <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um, you know what? I am willing to go to the wall for Pondy. Okay. Three for yes. Three for yes. No pressure, Pondy. All right, Tori, you're next. Uh, three for yes. I know he knows this one. Three for yes. He's got to know this one, right? Mike? Uh, yes. Uh, I, Dude, I, 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 pl this is your chance to, like, soar ahead, man. <laughs> so you think I should game theory it? No, I don't know. <laughs> don't, don't listen no, to that. That's not the only problem. Jesus Christ. Oh, uh, do your thing. Hmm. You know what? No, I, I really, I'm, I'm going with. He's got to know this, and and, okay. and I, I love you, Scott. I, I love you. Hold on, let me get this three in there. Yeah. <laughs> Please, right, buddy, don't fuck math. All okay? right, Scott. Who is who is Brian Clauser's longtime lovable but crude partner? So I'm pretty sure talking about Bri Bri's lovable partner, yes. Lawrence Kuki Chang. Yes. Oh, and and it's, yes. instead of the winning buzzer that I normally do, I made a special one for this game. Hey, buddy. <laughs> hey, buddy. <laughs> hey, buddy. Danny. Okay. I was trying to find that too. In celebration, Mike's going to get up and do the chain bang for you. Oh, no, please don't. Please, <laughs> please don't, no, Mike. Do you, do you have the prerequisite hula hoop and bar? <laughs> I, I do not. He does not, so he can't. Thank okay. God. Thank God. Yes. All right. Yes. All right. Yeah. Scott. We're, we're done now, right? <laughs> no, two more. Two more painful ones. All right. What is the name of the company that intends to mine Funeral Mountain? And uh, Mike, you can go first this time. Oh, man. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to hit the spread on this. I'm going to say no for three. 
No for three? All right. All right, Bruce. <clears throat> well, since we just had two chapters read to us in Las Vegas, I'm going to say yes for three. Yes for three. All right. And Tori? I'm going to say, Scott, you better know this. Two for yes. Two for yes. All right, Scott, what company is, is bound to mine Funeral Mountain? Well, they, they intend to. Would that be Earthcore? That is a... Hey, buddy. That is correct. <laughs> that is correct. So I said no, and do I yeah. put yes? You put a no. I put a no. I was wrong. Either no. he gets a... right. Wait, how did I lose points on that? No, just hold on. He's got to put yeah. him. Okay. There's something weird with the formula. Just, I don't okay. know. I have to there fix it like every time. I don't know why. I got two <laughs> right in a row with three. Yeah. So that's... You're, no, you're good. good. So, you're good. Uh, right now, the score is uh, 11 for Tori, Bruce with 10, and Mike. I don't think Mike has 11. I think that Pete, I should put a no in there instead of a yes. You put. Yeah. So that yeah. if I put a yes Tor in there, I need no, to. You do put that in what he got. You put in. Did he get it right? You put a yes. If he got it wrong, you put a no. All right. There we go. Good. That's how many times awesome. we've done this? All right. <laughs> <laughs> all, right so, all right. So, all right. I should have Scott, been muted. Scott, here we go. This is the last painful one, unless we go into a tiebreaker. <clears throat> what does Perry Dossie use to remove the last triangle from his body? Tori. Three for yes. Three for yes. All right. Bruce. Can I bet five? No. <laughs> Can I bet three? <laughs> Three for yes. And Mike. Three for yes. Three for yes. Scott, what so does Perry Dossie so, use to remove that last uh, triangle? So some would think that he would go see his colorectal surgeon to help him out with that. <laughs> <laughs> and deal with a painful and horrendous recovery. Right. However, Perry was more of a hands-on guy. Yes, he was. You know, full of determination. So... He grabbed his handy pair of chicken scissors and lopped that junk off. All right, Pondy. Hey, buddy. Yes, yeah. that is correct. Very nice. good, very good. All right, so I've got I've, – <laughs> we have a winner, so we're not going to play for points on this. We've got a winner and a losers. <clears throat> um, but just <laughs> – I'm just going to throw this out here. Um, uh, anyone can answer this. Quentin Barnes grew up on this mining colony. Anybody? Curious Nation. Nation. It was in the oh. Chris Nation, but it was a Monte Carlo on McCovey. You're right. Oh, it was McCovey. Oh, okay. Yes. There's yep. Scott. And last one, what island is the setting for the novel Ancestor? Manitou. Manitou, yeah. Yeah, see, Scott, you have been redeemed, buddy. You have been redeemed. Yeah, buddy. All right. So yeah, buddy. our score came in. Uh, Mike was in the rear, as usual, yeah. with <laughs> eight. <laughs> I'm doing this for you, God. I'm doing this for you, Scott. Right in the rear. <laughs> <laughs> Bruce comes in second place with 13 and Tori you are a big winner yay and this congratulations is Tori here's thank your prize you, you. <laughs> you, get, you get to do this <laughs> you get to hear the song <laughs> so, so wait so I lost because I had point. faith in Scott <laughs> yes yes yeah. Tori, 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 Tori is sharing yeah. a life with him. Uh huh. Yeah. Didn't have faith in him. I'm glad the irony him. wasn't lost on you. I know, right? Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Aren't, so, aren't you, aren't you guys a Sigler Fest love connection? No. 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 Balticon <laughs> love connection, right? No. How did you guys meet? Scott. <laughs> oh, Ooh, it's a test. Oh, shit. <laughs> Hey, he just did we, a quiz. No, no, we met when I, she first. I was on another podcast and yep. Scott did the artwork for that podcast. And then our friend requested him. Went months and, yeah, months and months and months went by. Never even said anything to him. I actually didn't even know he existed. Sorry. <laughs> And then um, I saw one day randomly that he was looking for an editor for his book. And then we kind of became best friends. And then we actually didn't even meet each other for our fir the first time we ever met each other was actually at Balticon. And okay. we only talked online. 
Okay. Mm, yeah. Yeah. I thought it was that simple with us, but okay. And now the rest is history. You all right. are happily together. Look at that. Nice. Very nice. <laughs> Very nice. All right. Well, thank you all. Now let's give out. Let's give it. Let me give out. Hold on. Let me. Let me. Let me close that. Uh, yes. Save that. And then, and then, and then, and then, and then, do that. Man, I got, I really got to get this down. Like, there we go. Um, let me go back to here. All right. Um, let's give out some links. Uh, da 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 da. Where'd the links go? Uh, that's a good question, buddy. Oh, let's go, Tori, yes. and uh, and Bruce. Uh, I tell you what, why don't we have everyone give their links out yeah. live, and we'll uh, we'll uh, stick them in the notes. Yeah, usually I put them in the uh, I put them in the notes there, Mike. Usually, uh, yeah, so Bruce, yeah. <coughs> what yeah. the hell happened? That's weird, yeah. huh? Yeah, that's really uh, weird, Mike. Huh. How did how did that happen? I, <laughs> I can be found at brucepressphotography okay. dot com. There you go. Um, there you go. <laughs> I'm a Baltimore, Baltimore area photographer. I do portrait and events and various other things, but I'll also travel if you pay me. Okay. Um, <laughs> How far so, will you travel f without an extra fee? Uh, Two blocks? No, 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 no. I go to Baltimore and DC on a regular basis without an extra fee. Oh, I got Sorry, two I, Scots. <laughs> we, we just had a power hiccup. Was oh, that wow, Scott okay. from the future? It is. it is. Let's see. I can bring Bruce back in. All right. I got, a, I got okay. an extra spot here. Yeah. All right. And then and uh, let's go to Scott and Tori. Um, oh, oh, Tori's frozen. Oh, well, she'll come back, I guess. Um, Scott, give me links to get to your stuff. I know there's... No, which, which one do you look at? There's the Scatori, right? Yeah. So, so you can find <laughs> us on Instagram. And um, sorry, I'm... Just join in now because of stupid power loss. Uh, you can okay, find us yep. on Instagram and Facebook as Scatori. You can also find us at scatori.com. That's S-C-O-T-O-R-I. Mm -hmm. um, for myself, you can find me at scottpond.com. And you can find both of us on various social media pages as Scott Pond or Tori Duke or Tori Duke Pond. All right, cool. Thank you. Thank you very much. And... Uh, because he was the subject of the whole thing, uh, scottsigler.com to find out yes. all about Scott. So if, you, if you're watching the show and you're like, who the hell? I don't get it. They did a whole show on this person and he's not even here. Scottsigler.com uh, is where you can find all his stuff. I mean, he's on Amazon. He's everywhere. There are books that are sold. But if you go to scottsigler.com, you books will find everything. Books and his podcast. He does, yeah, he does still give everything away for free on podcasts. Yeah. Yes. Well, the first, the first book, right? Not, not sequels, I think. it Wasn't that the deal? No, he's 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 still uh, serializing books. Are you yeah, yeah. sure he's? No, I mean, no, Mike. I know he's Mike. He's serializing books, but he's not giving away the second and third books anymore. That's not podcast, true. I don't think is it? No. You no, know, because he did he did um, the 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 A series. The, okay, well, he he um, talked. About, I know there was at one point maybe that changed because I remember he. No, what he did that. was he 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 got rid of the back catalog. Okay, it's not all available anymore. There, there was a like a. A sunset on that okay all right then that's fine but gotcha. I, that, like i said i think he is continuing to to do the big books okay well i, well, I knew that yeah i knew he was doing okay all right very good all right so yeah you can listen to all his stuff for free as it comes out yeah okay so a's a saying yes we we don't keep them up after the podcast run all right fantastic yeah. good good all right um go check his books out fantastic books and a thanks for joining us in the yes. chat room. Yay, yay. We, we totally appreciate yay. that um, she couldn't be on the show. She's got other things. She's a busy woman. Yep. Uh, but she took the time out to join us in the chat room, which is but awesome. A, you know that you and Scott are always welcome on the show. Anytime you guys uh, want to pimp something, you are always welcome to come on. So or please just know come that. by and say hi. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. You're always welcome. You play like a game. We, we, we would love. We would love to play a game. With you guys. <laughs> yeah, no, All right. Let's do the thing before we wear out our welcome, Mike. There's a thing. There's a thing, and the thing is 
You've just enjoyed another awesome episode of the Mythwits. We're live on Facebook Mondays at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Please ask our guests questions or just banter with the other Mythfits if you miss our live show. You can always catch the Encore episodes on Facebook or YouTube. And uh, if it drops out for a few seconds, just hang in. I had to plug the cord thing. Uh, find us on Facebook, Twitter as Mythwits, and check out Mythwits.com. If you don't have time for videos, make sure to subscribe to our podcast via your favorite podcatcher. Do the like, follow, subscribe thing wherever it's appropriate. Make sure to share your favorite episode on social media to help spread Mythwits love over the entire planet. Mythwits is part of the TSR podcast. Check out TSRPN.com for more cool shows. Uh, Mythwits is a Creative Commons product, prod, product. Like and share it in all the places. Just don't edit it. Don't sell it. And uh, don't try to remove it with chicken scissors. Make sure to check out Aetherforge.com for more cool stuff and join our mailing list. Thanks everybody for listening. Tell your friends to tune in. And Mike? The Mythwits being famous is an inevitability. The only question is time. Oh, very nice. variable. Nice. Variable. <laughs> I, I just, oh, you know that, Scott. Oh! <laughs> <laughs>